Uh, so, like, a, so the point is, yes, it can constructively interfere, but the dominant, uh, the dominant problem here is the destructive interfere. Um, so, on the other hand. If the signal is guided, we can get uh, d less than two. And this will be figure two in your notes. Here in a tunnel, and for the sake of argument, let's say the, the walls of the tunnel are reflecting the radio waves, um, then your wave front will basically stay constant. If uh, if the tunnel is a perfect waveguide, that uh, that um, signal actually won't decay down the tunnel. But the situations in which you're in that in such a circumstance are very limited. So the more likely scenario is that the antenna's over here. And the probability, uh, given a random placement of antennas, that it would be perfectly aligned with the tunnel opening is probably pretty small. And in this case, so the, uh, the scatter you would get from here would mean that the, the signal entering the tunnel is quite weak, and that's usually why you lose your cell phone call going to the tunnel. Okay, let's have an example. So let's say you have a one watt signal. And it is a distance of 100 meters from transmitter to receiver. Uh, the receive power is 0 0.1 microwatt, excuse me, 0 0.1 milliwatt, with d equals 2. So in that case, um, let's call this p, receiver power p, is 0 0.1 milliwatt with d equals 2. What is P with D equals 3 and 4? Assuming the same uh, constant of proportionality. So we would have um, if equals 2, then p is proportional to r squared. So in other words, p is equal to some constant times r squared. Excuse me. Um, I, sorry, I made a typo in my notes. Um, or no, I didn't. Uh, if signal decay is proportional to r, to r to the power of d, then it should be uh, is proportional to r to the minus 2. With that. So at 100 meters, we would have P is equal to um, K times 100. Two, which is equal to k times um, one over ten thousand, and this is equal to the receiver power, which is zero point one milliwatts. So therefore, k is equal to, and this.
this is uh, 0 0.1 milliwatts is 0 0.0001 watts. So K is equal to K with respect to watts, 1 over 10,000 times this, which is, is equal to 1. This is 1 10,000. Okay, so we know that. Now, um, P is equal to 1 times R to the minus 3, which is equal to 1 times 100 to the minus 3, which is equal to um, 10 to the minus 6, which is 1 microwatt. Okay, if, uh, so that's for d equals 3. Does anybody know what the answer would be with d equals 4? What would this be? It would be 10 to the minus 10 to the minus 8, which is Expressed in terms of microwatts. Express it in terms and picowatts is a trillion. That's ten to the minus twelve. Uh, it's ten nanowatts, which expressed in terms of microwatts is zero point zero one. One is ten nanowatts. So we can see. Uh, um, I heard a lot of. I heard picowatts or other picowatts is the next one down. Um, so we can see uh, path loss exponent is a big deal. And if we were in free space, we had uh, 100 microwatts. And if path loss exponent went up to 4, which is the most severe that I argue that it would be under ordinary circumstances, we lost, uh, we lost power by a factor of 10, by a factor of 100,000, or excuse me, 10,000. Okay, so I said. Good question. Uh, we actually did not use the one watt. Uh, yeah, that's just extraneous information. It's just uh, P is just the ratio of one to like. That's right. 